Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Delirium Spirit, and I'm back in here for another editing tutorial. I know it's been a long ass time since I've made my last editing tutorial, but in this one, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this effect. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and leave me some suggestions down below on what type of editing tutorials you wanna see in the future. And yeah, let's get right into it. First things first, you wanna open up your After Effects and import your cinematic. So, first things first, you're gonna import it you know do your normal you know trim it and shit so boom right here we have my sin i'm really gonna trim it like this okay now once you have your sin you want to right click and hit time enable time wrapping you want to do your little time wrapping easy ease f9 or right click on the keyframe keyframe assistant easy ease hit your graph editor copy the same type of graphing i'm doing i'm gonna move this up at the top so you can get these move this up hold shift and move it to the right side same with this hold shift and move it to the left side after that you want to come over here to frame blending double click it so it has this icon showing and this is what you have so far all right so right look we have we have this little sin right here it's not that bad you want to copy paste make sure you have a, a, a duplicate right so the one on the top you want to pre-compose and hit make sure move all attributes into new composition so you have this all right so now what you want to do is double click the pre-comp it will take you into a different composition and now what you want to do is turn your quarter quality to full so it's like you see everything hd now what you want to do follow my cursor you want to come over here underneath window to this make sure you're hitting roto brush tool hit that now what you want to do is double click on the clip it'll bring you to this little menu what you want to do is follow my cursor hit this little toggle alpha boundary or alt 5 on your keyboard hit that you see you got a purple outline now what you want to do is the first keyframe obviously it's blurred because of the fortnite camera so you just want to go to the frame that you see that's visible and start tracing over your skin as you see there's like a green marker and it's like you see how the pink line that's how you know you're selecting your skin if you see your your the pink going somewhere else you want to hold alt it changes to red color over it and it will delete it it will erase it so here it's picking up the wood i want to erase that boom it's, it's selecting the skin same for here boom and now it's gone and after you do that you want to make sure this over here bring it up all the way so it goes to the end of the clip which is perfect <clears throat> what you want to do is play or hit space on your keyboard and it'll start rendering and it will track your skin for you and it'll make the custom mask all right so boom it's finished what you want to do is make sure the pink line is staying on the skin for me staying on the skin now what you want to do is where it says layer you want to exit out of that so here you're in the masking what you want to do is just mess with the feathering the feather makes it softer so it doesn't look like there's like the the little like white stuff on the edges and raise up shift edge what that does is extends the mask or if you put it to a negative it will lower the mask so it's like it's like it just looks like it's actually cut out so right we have the mask layer with the mask layer here so when you're on quarter it looks like it's like it looks like you messed up but you really didn't if you go on full it will come out full quality ignore that when you're editing you do not have to worry you're fine turn on the other layer and then you want to go to your your layer and then add a new text you just want to type something i'm just going to put spirit for the, the sake of the tutorial make sure you align it to the middle i want to add your colors grab full color gradient you just mess with the colors to your liking i'm just going to do like a little pink and uh blue theme right here and add some drop shadow and then what i usually do is um i position it so like i animate it from it going down here looking up and by doing that you just hit the 3d cube on the text layer you go down on the arrow transform and you have xyz as you see of the xyz what you want to do is go to the start as you see she's down here so what you want to do is you want to animate these as you see with the x it's like in that position where it's yeah so as you see that it turns so you want to just animate it down and then you just want to copy the, the first one and go to the 
ending and paste it. I'm gonna animate it and keyframe it exactly like the clip. So obviously it's fast to slow. So you're gonna do a fast to slow and this is what you get. Or you can also just fade it in, fade it out. And obviously when you have your shake, your, your blurs, your transitions, your effects on it, it will like look like it's actually there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy and it did help you out, make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe if you're new, leave me suggestions for more tutorials. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch this week. I'm taking a little break from montages as I'm trying to focus on school right now. So yeah, if you guys support me, stay tuned. I will be back and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.